Welcome back to Bandit Bill Outdoors. Um, it is currently 2.15 in the a.m. Uh, we're heading out. I'm uh, gonna take a trip over to Wisconsin. Uh, my buddy uh, that I met through the Facebook waterfowl group of Minnesota, um, he's over on the Wisconsin side, so I'm gonna head over uh, and start swing by his house, and then uh, we're gonna head out with him today. Um, big shout out, big shout out to Carly. Uh, for making me some coffee last night that's already done um, so just gonna fill up my coffee um, finish getting everything loaded in the car and we're gonna head over that way so stay tuned y'all we're gonna get on some duck and geese hopefully today um, we're gonna be hunting a little um, pasture pond uh, so it should be exciting all right, y'all. Well, we are on the road. Uh, we're anticipating to land at my buddy's house about 4.02. So we've got about an hour and a half, a uh, little road trip here this morning. So we're only about 10 minutes out. Um, super early in the morning. Uh, we're at about 3.50. Uh, should be getting there right at 4 uh, to my buddy Blake's house. But this uh, coffee really has done me well on this trip. Um, and Carly and I also picked up at Sam's Club for just a little over a dollar a piece, a case of these Monster Energy Ultra Fiestas. These things have an amazing flavor and they got zero calories and all the zero stuff that Monster Zeros have. I think it's one of their newer flavors, um, but we really like it. We've been drinking them and instead of paying the gas station price of two or three dollars a piece, um, we picked up a case at Sam's Club. So that's helped me stay awake this morning, this monster, um, and then the coffee that Carly made me. So we have been able to stay awake. <laughs> Only got a couple hours of sleep last night, um, but we are excited for this hunt this morning. Uh, we're going to switch everything over from my uh, vehicle into his, and uh, we'll head out. What are you thinking, Jared? Oh man, they're oh, right fuck. there. Right there. See if they do come in. Right there, right there, right there. Take him. I thought for sure that one was going down. I know. I don't know how the hell it didn't. Shot and that was a big, that was a lot of them. Those are three that only were gonna come in, and then they saw something they didn't like. Yeah. But they gave us a good look. Yeah. Should have been done. We feathered the shadow that one. Yeah, we did. Once again, too high or what? I thought for sure that one was going down. Yeah, I don't know. Help. I don't know how it didn't. Cause I shot it again after you it. Tell it was hit. Or shot at it again. I don't know if I actually hit it, but well, that was the first group. Lay down. Yeah. Group of five. They're jumping. Stay. All right, don't choke, Stay. guys. Don't move. Really gonna let him land? 
win? Yep, we're gonna let him win. <laughs> Take them. They were going too far over. Oh, that one's circling back around. Is it? Oh, he took a hard right. I don't know if he's coming this way or not. But. I think that's what's happening. What? I don't. I don't know why they went that way. I don't know if they seen her bus or what. Oh, they were still landing though. Yeah. Were they still landing? No. But they were going too far out. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Hey y'all, um, so just finished packing up, heading on the road back home. Uh, sadly, we did get skunked, um, and it wasn't for the fact that we didn't see birds. Um, as you saw, it was simply for the fact that we cannot freaking shoot. Um, so I'm still not used to this gun. I know I uh, don't need to be making excuses, um, but I also haven't shot a shotgun at a bird in a long time either so that definitely doesn't help um but had a great time nonetheless uh it's always awesome to hunt with other people um and not by myself so that was super exciting met some new friends uh that's the first time i've ever hunted with blake um and we'll have many more hunts to come throughout the season we're gonna hunt a couple more times together so that's gonna be fun the spot that we were at this morning uh, is an awesome spot. As you saw, we had two really nice flocks of geese lock up and, and want to land into our spread. Um, we just did a horrible job shooting. Uh, so today uh, was a very slow day uh, for the area, for that specific farm pond. Um, usually he said there's a lot more geese on it. Um, usually ducks at daybreak. We, we had one single duck work our spread, a hen mallard uh right after daybreak about 20 minutes in to shooting hours and just did a horrible job shooting and missed it um and that first set of geese we thought we had at least killed one um you know we peppered it it feathers flew uh it looked like it got shot and was going down but just didn't go down um I thought that we should have got three or four birds out of that first uh, group, but we just didn't. We didn't get the shooting done today, um, but it was a good time uh, out in Wisconsin. That was kind of fun. Uh, never hunted Wisconsin. Now I can check that off the list, but we're going to be heading over to Wisconsin uh, a couple more times this year, so stay tuned. We're going to head next weekend, actually, get some hunting done and hopefully have more success and finally get my first bird on the ground for the season. Uh, just not having success guys keep getting skunked nonetheless it was a really good time and uh, it was great meeting new friends and, and making that connection uh, so all in all very successful trip uh, worth the hour and a half drive hour and 45 minute drive I'd much rather have a good time hanging out with some new buddies and uh, rather than being by myself uh, doing the same thing would have had probably the same luck by myself so it was good I enjoyed it if you guys liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. And we appreciate your guys' support. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and check us out on social media at Banded Bill Outdoors on both Facebook and Instagram. Also, www.BandedBillOutdoors.com to pick yourself up some awesome gear, guys. We got these hats. Uh, we got some shirts. We got some koozies. We got all sorts of stuff. Uh, some stickers, some decals. So go check it out. Uh, and we're going to bring bringing you guys some more giveaways soon. Uh, Jarrett Selman, congratulations again on the last giveaway of over $400 in value. We had game calls, training bumpers, uh, you know, call lanyard, duct tote. Um, we had all sorts of stuff. So uh, super awesome. Had a bunch of hats in that giveaway, some toe tags. Um, super awesome giveaway. Congratulations, Jarrett Selman. And we look forward to continue giving back to you guys, doing little giveaways here and there um, just to show our appreciation for your support. Uh, so thanks for the support and we hope to see you on the next one. Thanks guys.